I was getting set up to film, and now she's just staring at me. Hi, Bella! Come here, baby! Oh! Oh! Okay! Hi, Bella! Oh, oh, oh! Jealous! Jelly bean! Jealous jelly bean! This is my baby boy! Come here, Mama! Come here, baby! Come on, Bella! This is my baby girl! Oh! Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel! So today I'm either going to be listening to music or an audiobook while we organize my bookshelves because uh, they're messy. I might go through my books as I organize so I might have a little unhaul. Before we start though, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to quickly go through the mess that I'm calling bookshelves right now. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. So first, this, under these books, there is a bookshelf somewhere. Somewhere over there. I don't know where, but maybe we'll find it today. Then we have books right here with my little TBR jar for Bookopoly. Then I have this. I don't know why the toilet paper is on that shelf, honestly. And there we go. That's not very bright, but I promise there are books there and like stacks. My pretty TBR car, it's like empty over here. It has my spray bottle of like gooby gone. Goo gone. Uh, but the books that go over here are, we'll talk about it in a minute. This one just, I, I, I don't even know. My books aren't even straight right there. And then those ones, okay, those ones aren't that bad. Look at this mess. This massacre. So, uh, no idea what's going on there. Then, my husband added to my already messy shelf by putting a projector there. Then, uh, a, a random Dr. Seuss hat with some of my uh, picture books, which actually should be over there on that brown shelf. But, you know, whatever. Then we have some masks and beach balls and randomness. I told you, it's very, very messy. Then, okay, that's not that bad. That's my writing shelf. Those are books to help me write. Okay, then these books are books I have read since my last book haul. These are books that I need to go through once I earn a haul. Uh, because I have to earn it on Bookopoly. Books are the ones that go over here on my TBR cart. Uh... Uh, yeah, I anyways. Then, this is my red shelf. Uh, you know, it's actually not that bad. I do want to clean up this planning stuff. That's all my teacher planning notebooks and stuff. That needs to go to school with me anyway. Okay, so I went with some uh, country music to help me concentrate. No, I don't drink red. Okay. But I think I drink blue. Should've cleaned the closet. Should've burned it. Should've lost it.
cha-cha-cha Goodbye to you. I'm so sorry. Play jacks in the world again. I'll fix your dirty laundry. I'm talking crazy in different language you may not understand. Oh, Ray, just the kind of life I need me who I am. The mind who turns you instead. I lived it. I lived it. I lived it. Been talking crazy. Different language might not understand. Been back to Austin, talked about it all the time. It's almost a year before she called him up. Rings and an answering machine, but she heard me calling about the car I sold it. This is Tuesday night, I'm bowling I'm doing something to sell You're wasting your time I'm not buying Don't tell anybody else Wait for this home You know what to do P.S. If this is Austin I still love you I'm kind of man, hang on that long, kind of love that must be. Three weeks, Dave's books. She went to my rings and bed. It's Friday night, we're at the game game. First thing Saturday, if it's all right, I'm headed out to the lake. And I'll be gone all weekend long. Well, you're back when I get home on Sunday afternoon. Yes, if this is Austin. I still love you. Should I 
Sunday evening, this is what he had. If you're calling about my heart, still yours. Shouldn't listen to it a little more. It wouldn't have taken so long to know where I belong. By the way, life. This is no machine you're talking to Can't you tell? This is Austin I still love you
what if I hurt you? I believe you. Somebody else and I don't need you. It's rose rose. Let you up. So fast, uh, gotta ask if I was made for you, if you were made for me. This is to be last first kiss with all my In fact, I'll feel a whole lot better. Think of me day when I stand by. I'll be fine. We'll be all right. We stand your time. Yeah, we're gonna hold you tight. I'll be over you and on with my life. Make your record, take your freedom Memories, I don't need them Grip but leave my sweater We have nothing left to weather In fact, I feel a whole lot better Think of me Your record, take your freedom Your memories, I don't need them Space so reasons you'll think of me. We need my sweater. I have nothing left to weather. In fact, I'll feel a whole lot better. The girl in a country song, and the world did it go so wrong. The little boys looking up for you and your friends on the weekends, nothing more. A little respect, they'll give me in my bed. Didn't look in the trouble, I 
shut and ride along the girl and catch a song. My money ever ain't ever made me a dime. You know, sugar in this shaker of mine. I'm gonna slap. Cause you need me to be in the girl and I cut you song. The world did it go so wrong. And the good boy is looking good for you and friends on the weekends. Nothing more. Just to get a little respect. And look if we even get to climb up in the truck and to the shop and just ride along. Girl in a country song. Oh no. New truck straight. Never did it this way. The old days. No. Cliche in the way treat a lady like a girl in a country song. World did it go so wrong. Good boy, looking good for you and your friends on the weekends, nothing more. But I get a little respect. If we even did, in your job, keep our mouth shut and ride along. Be on on the country side. the time Red light. 
Okay, so I took a small break, got something to drink, went to the bathroom, and finished up my shelves. The only one I haven't really worked on is my favorite shelf by my bed, uh, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do that a little bit later. It doesn't really look that bad anyway. Just a few things. <laughs> I do have a pretty good stack of books right next to me that I want to unhaul. So I will be talking more about these books after I win Monopoly or Bookopoly and I win a book haul, I will be getting rid of all, or going through all three tubs, maybe four tubs by the time I get done. I will be going through them and seeing if I want to unhaul any of them or if I'm going to keep them. And then the first thing I'm going to do is do like this big unhaul video. So these will be in that video whenever that happens. But for now, since I found them, I'm not interested in them anymore. We're just going to talk about them here. Let me change my battery and I will be right back. I apologize if the angle changed at all but it's gonna be like a speed round of me telling you why I'm unhauling these ones because I'm gonna talk more in depth about it when that video comes up someday. <laughs> Camp Valor by Scott McEwen. I've just realized that middle grade isn't for me which is why I'm getting rid of A Dog's Life by Anne M. Martin. It's like an autobiography of a dog. And uh, I have a couple dogs and I like dogs. So, uh, you know, I thought I would like that book, but I just don't think middle grade is for me, which is fine. I can appreciate middle grade for what it does. It's usually very moving and uh, I love the fantasy middle grade and everything like that, but it just doesn't speak to my soul as much as it could for someone else. So, we're done. Then, I'm getting rid of The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher. I read The Wives by Taryn Fisher and I loved it. I read half of this right half of it let's see part three okay I read 127 pages of it and I was so lost as to what was happening there are too many people and all of their voices sound the same and it was just it was too much going on and I'm not interested in finishing it so I'm gonna unhaul it then uh <laughs> I've recently found out that I do not like, okay, there are exceptions to every rule, okay, but I don't like books that are written by, like, several authors. There are a couple of author duos that write very well together, but generally speaking, I don't like anthologies and I don't like books that are written collaboratively with more than like three or four authors because it gets messy and it gets the writing styles do not jive together and I'm I'm okay with that so I'm just not going to read Violent Ends or Feral Youth by Sean David Hutchinson and nine other authors. I part of me really wants to keep Violent Ends because it's about a school shooting and that's something that I really like reading about as a teacher and as I say that I know that makes me sound crazy 
that makes me sound weird, but, um, I just like educating myself, even if it is fiction. So there's a chance that I will save this one. Let me know in the comments below if you've read either of these and what you thought of them. Should I save this one or just let it go? It's been on my shelf. They've both been on my shelf for like over a year. I don't even think about reading them. So maybe it's time to just let them go. Then I bought some books because I saw them on booktube and there were uh, people who were really loving them and like some of them I kind of want to be like those booktubers but it's okay I'm not like other booktubers I'm just me and that is okay I don't have to force myself to read books that I know I'm not gonna like um some of them I know I'm not gonna like because I tried them and I didn't like them others I think there's only one other one I just don't think that it's my type of book and that's okay so I'm gonna start with the one that I haven't started uh, so I guess the other three are DNFs for me yeah I guess I'm DNFing the other three but the one that I have like zero interest in is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon I'm not a fantasy reader this book is pretty chunky I was get I bought this book during a readathon when all the booktubers or like a good chunk of really big booktubers were hosting for different teams back in June was it the whatever a thon hosted by Maddie from book browsing blog but she had two team captains for each team and they were like some of the biggest booktubers and uh, one of their favorites was The Bone Season. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to go buy a bunch of books that I have no interest in, but that will get me bonus points uh, for the month of June. And, of course, I didn't read it because I have no interest in this book. So we will get rid of that one. These three I bought... Oh, okay, no. These two I bought at the same time. Uh, Stife by Neil Stusherman was another booktuber's favorite and uh, I have attempted to read this but the thing is that I don't care so yeah that one's gone too then this one hurt me actually both of these hurt me that I didn't like them so we ride upon sticks by Quan Berry. This I watched a reading vlog of Kayla from Books and Lala reading this, and she had so much fun with it. I can see the potential why Kayla liked it, but it's just not for me. The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter by Sidora Goss. This one hurt me because I thought I would love it so it takes all of like the classical characters like um, Watson no not Watson she, yeah Sherlock Holmes uh, Franklin Franklin Frankenstein and uh, just all the different classic characters and they had daughters and uh, now they're all like scientists and they're investigating some kind of murder I think and this is the first in a series but again I just wasn't interested and it might have been the writing or <laughs> what it really probably was was that I don't love classics uh, at all. Mm, 
Yeah, I don't like classics in general, but you know, and uh, so I'm not really familiar with a lot of the backstories and the ones that I am familiar with I didn't like. So I just, I, it's not for me. And that's okay. That's okay. Then I have four more. Five more. Five more. Okay. Wind Sparks Fly by Helena Hunting. This is an arc that I did not know I was going to be getting. I'm not interested in this book. So I'm either going to send it to one of my friends or try to trade it when I do my unhaul. I know technically you're not allowed to sell it, but sometimes my local bookstore takes them. And that's fine with me. Then uh, I'm unhauling a book that was on my self-destructing books list. So I have a year from August to read this, but I'm not going to. It's A Thousand Beginnings and Endings, edited by Ellen O. This is 16 reimagined Asian fairy tales, myths, and legends. Excuse me. And uh, I've just come to the realization that I don't like anthologies and I don't like books by several different authors because to me it gets messy and it gets um the voices just don't mend together well it's just not my thing anymore and that's okay then uh why we broke up by daniel ha <laughs> why we broke up by daniel H handler i have read this one I didn't like it. Then this one hurt me really bad too. Uh, I feel very sad about this one. Uh, but I've come. Uh, Portrait of a Killer, Jack the Ripper, Case Closed by Patricia Cornwell. Uh -huh. I remember reading Patricia Cornwell books when I was in high school, uh, but I don't think that her writing really just jives with me as much, which happens with some authors. It's fine. Not every author is going to write a book that you like or write in a voice or a tone that you appreciate. And for some reason, I don't know if it's the book or if it's just I'm not into her writing anymore but I I just cannot get into this book to save my life and it was on my must read of the year so that's kind of disappointing but I just I can't get into it which is weird because true crime is like my favorite nonfiction genre but it just it just doesn't work for me so this one I have not tried to read. It's Don't Forget Me by Victoria Stevens. I don't even know what it's about or how I got it. And we're just going to leave it that way. I'm just going to unhaul it. And then I was going to unhaul one other one, but I'm going to save it because... It's uh, The Haunting of Hounds Hollow by Jeffrey Salen. This is a middle grade, and that's why I was going to unhaul it. But if I like a middle grade, it's going to be this one, maybe? It is on my must-read in the fall. It's, my, it's on my fall TBR anyway, so I think that that's good. Uh... Thank you so much for hanging out with me and organizing my bookshelves, talking, and looking at the books that I'm unhauling from this reorganization video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next video.